Hi everyone, Achal this side. Thanks for watching out this video today. In this video tutorial, we will going to discuss about the Akinio Augmented Reality extension. What is this extension? How we can use it? Don't worry, we will going to discuss more in details in the further slides of this video. Basically, the main purpose of using this extension is to add AR media into the products to provide them a more realistic view. Let me introduce some key features of this module, like how users can add AR media into the products, how they can able to import and export the AR media, and how users can able to view that particular AR product into their websites, into their desktop and tablets. Before moving ahead, I would request you to please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon button to get more updates. So let's move ahead with the backend of Akinio. As here you can see this is the backend of our Akinio and in the left navigation you can able to see the AR media option. You just need to tap over there and accordingly you can see here the documentation AR media and support. Uh, you just need to tap over the AR media and here you in the right uh, top right corner you will get an option of create. If you want then you can create your own product as I have already created the product I will going to show you the process of uh, filling up the details. You just need to tap over there and accordingly you need to fill out the required details as here the code should be the name of your uh, product and in the coming next you need to upload the media uh, over here as I have uploaded the media of bottle because uh, I'm, I have already created uh, that product. Uh, moving next we will have an option of adding uh, iOS media and adding Android media. Here you just need to upload the GLB file for the Android and the USDZ file for the iOS. After uploading these files it will generate a QR code as you can able to see here. Once the QR code is generated, then it will be redirected to, into the website and you can able to see AR product after scanning this key, uh, QR code from your phone. As here you can see uh, the image looks like in your mobile. You can check each and every side of the product on the desktop too. So this is the process of adding uh, product and uploading the files and uh, accordingly you can able to scan the same QR code and able to see uh, the same into your websites and desktop as well. After filling out these uh, details you just need to say, uh, tap over the save button. As here you can see the pop-up comes like AR media updated successfully. Likewise you can able to add AR media. Likewise, you can able to add AR media. Now moving ahead, I will going to show you like how to create AR attributes. So here in the left navigation, you can able to see the settings option. You just need to tap over this that settings and here you can find the attributes. Just tap over the, that attribute button and accordingly you will see a option of create attributes. You just need to tap over the create attributes and accordingly you can able to see here the augmented reality. Here uh, you need to create your attributes like uh, I am creating here AR view. Just need to confirm. Once the attribute is created then accordingly you need to assign a particular group to that particular attribute as well. As I am going to assign the marketing group here. After assigning the group, I will mark that button as save. You will get a pop-up like attribute successfully updated. As you can see, we have successfully created the attribute. Now we have to add those attributes into the families as well. Okay, I am going to tell you like how you can able to add that particular attribute into the families. In the left navigation, you can able to see like uh, uh, we are having an option of families. You just need to tap over that and if you want then you can create your own family from here. Accordingly as I have created multiple families, I am going to assign that particular attribute into this 
accessories family as uh, here in, uh, in inside the accessories you will get an option of attributes and from in the uh, left navigation you can able to see the option of add attributes and from here i am marking that uh, particular you know, mid, um, attribute in, inside the family uh, as you can see here we have successfully added this ar view inside the family after adding this you just need to tap over that save button and accordingly you will get a pop up as well like family successfully updated now this is the complete process of adding attributes and adding the, those attributes into the families now moving ahead i will going to show you how you can able to add products as here in the left navigation you can able to see the option of products you just need to tap over that particular product option accordingly uh, a list will appear of the already created products if you want then you can able to create your own as here i am going to show you how to create product you just need to tap over that create option and accordingly you will see um, a pop up of these two products and product model i am clicking over the product and here i am creating a product and assigning that particular water bottle into the family and after assigning that particular product into the family you just need to tap over that save button likewise you can able to add your products into the attributes and able to assign those attributes into the families as well as after adding the product into the family you will get a pop up again that is product successfully created and here you can able to see your created product after that you can also able to see that add update ar media option accordingly you just need to tap over that button and it will redirect you to the new page and from here you can you just need to check that mark and so that this particular product will be added into your bucket after check that mark up you just need to tap over that confirm and accordingly need to press again that save button likewise you can able to update your product and accordingly you can also able to get the pop up like product successfully updated now moving ahead i will going to show you the import export functionality of the ar media as here you can see we do have multiple list of products here and i want this product should be export into the file as i for that i need to check that mark over that particular product and accordingly you will see these multiple options in the bottom of your backend i am just click over that quick export and accordingly it will redirect me to the new page and here i will get these two options i if i want the data in the csv file then i just need to tap over that and if i want the data in the excel sx then i just need to tap over that particular button so here i am going to show you uh, to to export the data by csv and here after that i just need to tap over the export button accordingly a pop up will be shown like quick export has been launched likewise you can able to uh, export your data after complete export of the data you can able to check those attributes like as you can able to see here inside the csv file So that's all about our extension augmented reality of Akinio and if you're still having any kind of concern or query you can write us an email at support@thedatewebcool.com and at last if you like our video then please give us a big thumbs up